Ready, guys? Yeah. Bye. 
Thank you. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't want to find my home. Just wonder what happened to it. My hands are cut in stones. Who's still on my bones? I'm Angela Zimmerman with Karate Magazine. I'm sitting here with the Young Veins, um, who just played a great three-song session here at the vault. Um, so to start off, I want to kind of just talk about your all's sound. Um, I think it's clear that you guys are very influenced by the 60s. Are there any records in particular that really have speak, speak to you in regards to your, your music today? I don't so know. So many. <laughs> yeah, too many. Too many. Um, There's a lot of records that came out then that were pretty monumental that for me, just influenced the way music was made. You know, whether uh, Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys was like I knew you guys say that one, one of the most groundbreaking albums, you know, still. Yeah. Um, you know, and like Revolver, you know, just, it was like people were creating genres like, you know, within albums then, yeah. you know, just touching on so much stuff. I don't know, I, I guess, I mean, obviously the Beach Boys and Beatles would be up there in favorite bands, but. Um, a lot of the British Invasion stuff, you know, like the Kinks too, and Dusty Springfield, and Motown music. I don't know, we're kind of all over the place. So Take a Vacation is your first record. Uh, do you care to speak a little bit about how that came to be and the process behind that? Yeah, we, uh, <clears throat> we kind of wrote the majority of the songs all over the world. Um, we went to Southeast Asia for the first time, we went to South Africa for the first time, um, and parts of Europe that we'd never been to before. And basically we just started writing songs that way in these different spots and it kind of felt, you know, like the like we were on a little vacation, even though we were working, but um, it was the first time we were actually able to write songs that focused on tour yeah. and the kind of really went hand in hand with the places we were at. So, yeah, I think that's that's where Take a Vacation was born. <clears throat> in the, uh, on, oh. earth, on Earth. <laughs> All over the Earth. 
So the whole record was written abroad? Um, the majority. We, we wrote, uh, we, we probably wrote four or five songs back in California, which also, you know, probably helped the way those turned out. Mm-hmm. Um, Cape Town? Was that written? Cape Town. That was Cape not Town? written in Cape Town, but it was written about Cape Town. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. How was, how's this tour been going? Because you guys were kind of in the middle of it? Yeah, it started like a week ago. Um, it unofficially started on the 11th. We played Bonnaroo. I was going to ask how that went. It was great. It was really hot. So fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It was a blast. That was worth the, the amount of sweat we all donated. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> sure. Was uh, was Bonnaroo the biggest show that you guys have played as the Young Beans? <laughs> Um, I don't know. It was one of them. I mean, we played in Anaheim the other night at the House of Blues, and that was a really good crowd, too. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, we played during Conan O'Brien's set at Bonnaroo, so we had a little bit of competition. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> People have heard of him. <laughs> That's so random he was playing there, I yeah, just say. I wish I could have seen him. I know. <laughs> they had other obligations. Yeah. Do you think you'll be playing more festival gigs? Is that like, do you like those sort of settings? Yeah, I do. So uh, it's it's nice to just be in the mix of it all around music and so many different kinds of music. People seem to be a little bit more open minded about your, you know, whatever they're watching instead of maybe going to a concert and having an idea of what they're going to expect. You know. Right. Well, you reach such a greater audience that way too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's usually more fun. Just tons of bands to watch and good food and free booze. <laughs> yeah, a lot of amenities. <laughs> um, have you guys gotten a good response from that? Like, have you taken on new fans that have responded to your performance that saw you for the first time? Or anything? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even on tour, that that kind of happens. Um, you know, the band me and Ryan came from uh, kind of lends itself to a few of. You know, we already have a little a little bit of a growing fan base going on, but. Um, yeah, pretty much every night we play, there's always people coming up who had no idea who we were and or who our band was, and definitely really at, liked it. That's at, great. At Bonnaroo, um, you know, as you may or may not know, our fan base is kind of predominantly female. <laughs> um, but at Bonnaroo, <laughs> it was <laughs> it was great because when I was walking around after we had played, and a bunch of people had came up to me and you know grabbed me and said, "Hey, great, great set! It was amazing!" And it was, every one of them was a guy. Which, <laughs> which made me feel pretty good in, in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> that could be taken so many different ways. <laughs> it should be. Exactly. I think that's it. All right. Thank Thanks you. for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Do you have enough time to do it?